Bill Parliament from RadicalMarketingSolutions.com and this is video 5 of the Beginner's Guide to Small Business Internet Marketing. How to take your offline business online. And today I'm going to talk to you about Small Business SEO Basics. Now this video is not meant to be an advanced lecture on SEO, rather it's to give you a general understanding of the overall SEO process. So let's first talk about SEO and let's define what SEO is. SEO is the process of optimizing your website so that it shows up at the top of the search engines for whatever products or services you're selling. Now when I say your website shows up at the top of the search engines, what I'm talking about is in the organic listings. Um, Let's take Google for an example. Um, when you go to a search engine results page on Google, typically you'll see the paid ads at the top of the page and along the right side of the page, you'll also see um, some listings that say sponsored ads. Um, those websites are there because the webmasters have paid Google uh, money to advertise on the first page of Google. So anytime someone clicks on that link, from an advertised position on Google, they have to pay Google a certain amount of money. With SEO, we're talking about the organic or natural listings on a search engine results page. These are the websites that show up naturally because they're optimized properly for a particular keyword or keyword phrase, which we talked about in uh, the first video in this series. So now that you understand what SEO is, why is SEO important? Well, SEO is important, number one, because you want your website to show up on the first page of Google. Your goal is to get your website to show up on the first page for whatever product or service you sell. So if someone goes to Google and types in widgets in the search engine box, you want to make sure that your website shows up on the first page of Google for the term widgets. Now, Drilling down even further, your ultimate goal is really to be number one, obviously, but I think it's a good uh, kind of rule of thumb to shoot for the top three spots on Google, number one, number two, or number three. The another reason why SEO is important is because if you're not on the first page of Google, rarely do people search beyond the top 10 results on the first page. So um, it's something like 60% of all clicks to a website come from those top three spots and it, it goes further down uh, the further away you get from the top spot and even minuscule when you get to the second, third, and fourth pages. So that's why SEO is super important. And Google wants SEO. There's a lot of you know, talk out there, you know, is SEO important? Does Google not like SEO? Well, yes, Google needs SEO because when you're optimizing your website, it makes it easy for the search engines to come to your website, find your website, and crawl the content on your page so they can index the words on your page and put them in the search engine results page. So SEO is benefit to you and it's a benefit to the search engine. So let's talk about the three the three part process of SEO. Um, first you have on-page SEO. On-page SEO is basically the things that you can see on your web page, uh, meaning the written word. So things like your title tag. Now your title tag um, typically shows at the top of your browser. It's an HTML tag that tells the search engines what your page is all about. And typically your title tag should contain your best keyword inside. Um, other things on page SEO is your page title, so the title of your actual article, and typically you can put them in what is called an H1 tag. That's another HTML tag that gives Google a understanding, again, another uh, indication of what this page is about along with your title tag. Other things on your on-page SEO are the words on the page, so the articles that you write are all very important. And also, links from your page to other pages within your website is another on-page SEO factor. The second uh, part of SEO is off-page SEO. This means the things that are happening off your website or off your page. Basically, what I mean by this is links coming from other websites into your website. So, uh, backlinks, which is the hypertext, uh, hyperlinked, 
words and phrases that are links that come back to another page on the internet. So off-page SEO is getting more links from other third-party websites back to your website. That's an indication that your website is a good website, it has great content, and they want to share the information you have on your site. So um, getting backlinks in off-page SEO is very important. In fact, off-page SEO and, and building backlinks to your site is probably the most important thing you can do from an SEO perspective. And now the third part of the uh, SEO process is um, social social search optimization and this is kind of new to the game and this is the ability to share your content throughout social media sites like uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and now with um, Google Plus. So how often is the content on your website uh, liked on Facebook? How often are your links shared on Facebook? How many times is the content on your page tweeted and then retweeted on Twitter? Um, how many times do people come along and hit the Google Plus button on your website? Um, and are you doing uh, videos on YouTube and are people commenting on those? So um, social search optimization is really important now um, and making sure that it's super easy for people who visit your website to share your content throughout their social media networks and websites. So finally, let's talk about the seven steps of search engine optimization. Some of these we covered in previous videos, so we'll kind of go over it, but search engine optimization really starts with keyword research. You have to know the um, phrases, keywords, that people are searching for to find the products and services you're selling. So you can never hope to show up in those top three listings on Google if you don't know what people are searching for. So it all starts with keyword research. Then it starts with creating the content, making sure that you have great content that other people want to share and link back to um, to improve your off-page SEO. Then, of course, it's optimizing the content, which brings us back to the orange page SEO. Optimizing the content, like I showed you in the last video, making sure that your keywords are in your title tag, that they're in your H1 tag, that you're using the keywords and the, and the body copy of the articles on your website, um, making sure that this is all optimized properly, that you're using the proper anchor text links from one page of your website to another page of your website, that all is about optimizing uh, your content. And then again, this is very similar internal linking. I just talked about internal linking. Then of course, external linking, meaning getting extra links back to your website. And if you have great content, it's much easier to get those links back to your site. And finally, social sharing is the uh, final step. And of course, you need to rinse and repeat and do this uh, over and over again to keep your website fresh and keep uh, Google happy. So that's uh, video five, small business SEO basics. If you have any other questions or if you'd like more information about small business SEO, feel free to grab a copy of my free report called the seven most common and costly mistakes business owners make when taking their offline business online. And this is Bill Parliament saying, now go dominate Google.